Hi, I'm delighted to introduce our research on Conditional Cross-Attention Network for Multispace Embedding Without Entanglement in Only a Single Network. I'm Taebak, and I come from Delicious, a fashion platform startup in South Korea. In computer vision, much research has focused on predicting a single label for objects and images. However, in reality, objects are often more complex, possessing attributes such as categories, colors, and sizes. To create embedding space for various object attributes, a simple strategy involves the development of separate neural networks, each tasked with generating its unique embedding. Nevertheless, this naive approach poses significant challenges related to time and memory efficiency. Embedding multiple attributes into a single network can lead to a complex challenge known as entanglement. This means that the intricate details and specific characteristics of each attribute become intertwined and difficult to distinguish. The central image illustrates the embedding space that encompasses all attribute classes found in the Fashion AI dataset. On the left, we zoom in on one specific attribute, namely, coat length, to highlight the challenge of disentanglement. Our primary goal is to construct a multi-space embedding that faithfully represents a wide array of attributes within a single network. Let's take a closer look at the overall architecture of our method. Within the Vision Transformer framework, the transformer encoder is comprising feed-forward and multi-headed self-attention blocks, as can be seen from the equation. The way we process input images closely resembles the conventional vision transformer approach. The multi-headed self-attention process employs a self-attention mechanism, taking input in the form of vector query, key, and value. In our approach, we introduce conditional token embedding to handle multiple attributes effectively. It receives the condition information, also called attribute information, as input. Its primary role is to train essential features, focusing on selecting relevant local regions within the image for attribute comprehension and fusion. Condition C can be transformed into either type 1, one hot vector, or type 2, a mask, which is represented as a trainable lookup table. To ensure compatibility with the input requirements of the vision transformer's attention mechanism, the vector QC is replicated multiple times, effectively aligning dimensions as follows. Let's take a closer look at the conditional cross-attention network. In CCA, we introduce a unique query known as QC, which is designed to capture condition-specific information. Meanwhile, the key and value components remain consistent with their roles as image features. Let's now delve into our experiments. Before we proceed, the table below provides a snapshot of the dataset statistics. It's important to note that the level of difficulty escalates as the number of attributes increases and for higher classes within the dataset. Within our experiments, we explore attribute-specific fashion retrieval. In this task, given a fashion image and a specified attribute, the model finds images with matching attribute values. In the Fashion AI dataset, it's evident that the two CC entries at the bottom exhibit significantly improved performance compared to existing models. In the darn dat set, our model also outperformed all others across every attribute. The same holds true for our results on deep fashion. We achieved consistent performance across the board. The heat maps provide a clear visualization of how the model identifies specific areas relevant to each attribute. This serves as evidence that CCA effectively integrates attribute information with the image, enhancing the retrieval process. This figure shows the TSNE visualizations of multi-space embeddings from both the baseline model without condition and the CCA model. When we compare the two models, it becomes evident that CCA excels in shaping the embedding space without entanglement. These results compare our method with the previous state-of-the-art model ASEN, highlighting the excellence of our approach. In conclusion, the conditional cross-attention network successfully addresses the issue of entanglement by skillfully combining and alternating between specific attributes and images. As far as we know, this study represents one of the earliest attempts to use vision transformers for multi-space image retrieval, offering an efficient approach with straightforward VIT modifications. Our method consistently outperforms existing approaches across diverse datasets. Furthermore, we present interpretable visualization results to enhance understanding. With that, 
I'll wrap up my presentation. Thank you for your attention.